Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Kingdoms Reborn. Last time we got our population up to just about 300 and we got a pretty good start on some future ideas for expansion up here. We have, look at all this land, We've got a ton of land. We really can't do too much unless we expand and put a colony up here, which we're going to probably get to this episode. Oh, these guys might have to uh, conquer and or raise them. But yeah, we got a lot of stuff we can take a look at. Right now, we are currently in a really favorable position in terms of strength. We have some archers that I've now figured out how to get uh, unstuck, quote unquote, thanks to you guys in the comments for being very helpful on that. But if we come over here, our other uh, players in the game, the uh, one of the highest population is currently these guys. They have 221. These guys have only have 152. And up here, they got 194 in terms of technology. I don't really know how, how advanced these guys are. They do have cannons. And uh, we currently, we come back over here, take a look at our uh, training units. We can only make catapults because we haven't researched, I think it's under upgrades. Yeah, military engineering two unlocks cannons. So we will be researching that. Maybe not exactly right now. I really, really want to get into colonization. So we're going to go ahead and research this. It's going to take a little bit of time to get there. But as soon as we have colonization unlocked, we can go pretty much anywhere we can physically get to by land to do a uh, just regular colony, or we can do a port colony somewhere else on the map near something we want, like say gemstone deposits. Could maybe put one here or here, or say we find some place that has iron, like this province right here. We could put a port colony right there. There's a lot of different possibilities. There's a lot of different things that we can do, and we'll be getting to that at some point. So I know a lot of you are dying to know if this is correct or not. If the uh, archers are in this additional card inventory, they sure are. I really wish the game would let you know that when you go to attack somebody. We can go ahead and move these guys back down here. And now we have our four archers. We can come in here. We have up to 10 military slots based on population. So we can train any of these guys. I'm going to avoid doing that until we research uh, cannons under the uh, military engineering too. We're going to research cannons and uh, I don't think we really need frigates yet, but we get musketeers. Bye bye. It's over. We can just conquer all these guys. Uh, we haven't vassalized. That sounds like a dirty word. We, we haven't vassalized these guys yet. Uh, we have these two and then there's some others as well. And uh, all these guys we can come over here. Like these guys only have they got they got four archers and two swordsmen. If we get a bunch of uh, get a bunch of cannons, a bunch of musketeers before they do, we might be able to vassalize this entire player's stuff. That sounds kind of appealing to me. I don't know. We'll see. We're doing pretty far uh, ahead of everybody else in terms of progression. It seems like so. We might want to take a look at that. Another thing. Yes, uh, immigrants, we have space. Come on in. We need to build some more houses in a little bit. So we'll pause just for a second so we don't have uh, too many people come in. The spy center is really cool. Because uh, I've just been hoarding these stealing cards. But we can also... <laughs> yeah, this is going to put me on a list if I click this one. But we can do counterintelligence. We can do spy nest support. So spy nest, if you didn't know, we can actually come over to any of these other players and we can pick a house because we have an embassy. We can pick a house, like just say this one, we can pay a thousand coins and establish a spy nest. So if we go ahead and do that right now, so all that does is that just gets us income from somebody else's uh, stuff. And we can also ensure anonymity for another 1500 coins. And there we go. Now we have a spy nest and ruin, ruin, whatever you want to call these guys. So I think just right quick, Let's find a uh, find a house relatively close to our uh, embassy here. So we got one here, and let's come all the way up here to these guys. Where is our embassy right here? Now where is a close house to here? Right there. There we go. We now have spy nests in every single uh, every single of these AI players here. So we get extra income, of course, and. We could just keep doing this. We, we, well, of course, it costs more money the more you do. But I know some of you wanted to see Spinus. Hey, we have him in all the AI players now. So hopefully that's 
spawn. And now we have this guy set to uh, increase spy nest effectiveness. So we're going to get an even better bonus. And we can also pay more to get more money. But right now, I think we should probably focus our funds on other stuff because we have tons of other things that need to get done here. The uh, winery is upset there's no grapes. Because we can't farm grapes, we have to import them. And people are complaining there's no tools. We have stone tools. And we don't really have any iron tools because we aren't mining iron. We have to import it. So if we find our iron ore here on the list, I, and I could just use the search bar. Yeah, there we go. Iron ore is extremely cheap. So if I were to import 240 of that, it really only cost us 1,800 coins. That's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and import some more of that. We'll do 120. And then I think, uh, oh yeah, we can sell a lot of wheat. How did I not, how did I not do this this entire time? Shift click goes by hundreds. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, okay. Well, I should have known that by now. That's my fault. Got our other, other trade thing here. I don't want to sell bricks. I want to use the bricks, but we still really don't need that much wheat. Uh, where are my grapes? Let's find the grapes. Yes. I need to purchase the grapes so we can have wine. So we can upgrade all of our houses. Now, this uh, area over here really doesn't have anything going on except for the sheep ranch. We've got a hunting lodge. Oh, smoking chamber, you say. Root bait. Yep. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. We can do a couple other improvements here to try and coax these houses to upgrading. Uh, I don't think we have a, we only have like one or two markets in the town. So why don't we go ahead and put in a market up here and then we can build some more houses because we need, we need more houses anyway. So we've got some pretty prime, uh, prime location for houses here. If we just kind of uh, build ourselves in a little line here. The uh, appeal still fortunately pretty high. That is the wrong spot. I put you in the wrong spot, so you can stop that. Um, yeah, let's do right there. And then can I... Yeah, that's still in the correct spot here. I'll just have this dirt road go all the way up here. Looks good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, the little path there. See storage yards. Uh, I shouldn't be doing storage yards. I should just be doing warehouses because those are a lot more efficient. So, yep, that'll fit perfectly next to these houses. And most of these houses are within range of the market. So it's going to take him 800 years to build all that. That's fine. That's the way it goes. I think we want to go ahead and demolish that and put a warehouse in its place because that is a more efficient usage of the space. Just make sure there's no upgrades that we can research that we haven't presently. It's going to take their uh, sweet time to do all that. So these guys have uh, have pretty high level houses, most of them. But they could still stand to have a little bit more. Man, there's diabolical kidnapping. I don't want to steal citizens. I want... I, I probably should have just gotten the wild card, to be uh, completely honest with you. We also need more coal because we only have 86 and I know coming up on the uh, on the tech tree we have the opportunity to research sand mines and then of course make glass out of that. And that's going to be pretty important for upgrading buildings for the Enlightenment Age. If you click on a lot of these you'll notice right here you have upgrade level to the Enlightenment Age and it costs glass. It just makes stuff faster. But we don't have a lot of coal so why don't we? Go ahead and just buy a couple of coal mines if we can. Wild card seems pretty smart. Okay, so this doesn't have coal or one of these did. Is it this mountain? I think it is. So now we just have to find a good spot. Come all the way back up here. Yeah. And then we're going to build another one because we can always export the coal. We just need to have it. And burning wood to get uh, charcoal is really not a very efficient uh why can't i find there it is 
Not a very efficient way to uh, utilize your resources. And of course, these guys get a bonus because we have a... Uh, well, there's one of the upgrades we've researched that allows us to get a bonus for doing all of that stuff. Actually, I think I might want to... Uh, I want to build another one, but I think that's going to end up being not the best idea. We'll go ahead and just put our road here. We'll let them uh, build that in due time. Probably will take a pretty long time to get that all done. But we have we have coal out, but we just don't have a ton of uh, things using it presently. Of course, iron smelter. Let's uh, let's give them a passion card. Passionate about smelting. There you go. Fruit gatherers. We got a tailor. I have, see, I haven't done hardly any of these upgrades. These people need grapes. Of course, the grapes have not come in yet because all of our trade has pretty much uh, ground to a halt. Let's see. The stone tools. We really shouldn't still be using stone tools. We should be using the iron tools, but we, again, just don't. Where's my blacksmith? It's somewhere over here. I don't remember where it is. Rating post, no. Stuff kind of hides. There it is. And presently it seems like we're kind of lacking in our uh, wood harvesting department. So we do have some of these uh, some of these guys doing stuff. But we can always use more. I say as I fail to find a uh, forester card. I always just buy wood. There we go. Buy that. Because we have all we have all this we have so much space, but it's just it's so far away from the town center, we really we really should just make a colony up here, somewhere in this region, and then just have everything connect eventually that way. But for right now, see we have a forester here. Yeah, that's a forester. We should have uh, most of this area. I do wish I could adjust the uh, the angle on this, where I could look uh, down different ways here. I think, uh, let's put, uh, if I can put a house here. It's not very desirable, so maybe not, but I want to leave some space there. So let's do right here. There we go, and then we'll just connect it up with the road. If I can fit something in between those, then I can, and that's fantastic. But uh, for right now, we'll just make sure this is all... Yeah, there we go. All set to go. These guys are complaining about no tools. I should have bought tools instead of grapes. But eh, who's keeping track? Let's go ahead and turn on our four times speed. And yeah, we're making more medicine now. I probably should have another couple of medicine makers. We can sell that for a lot of money. We've got plenty, 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 plenty of food. Although most of it is wheat. We are not currently producing bread from. Because, of course, everything is... Well, it's a process. You can't just do something. You have to have all the different processes uh, set up correctly. And in a shocking turn of events, we're out of potatoes to make vodka so we should probably have over here another farm just for growing potatoes so what we'll do here is i will just set that for potatoes and we have these vodka distilleries these are growing wheat medicinal herb cabbages cabbages where's my potatoes we should probably have the potatoes actually next to the vodka distilleries oh yeah the tiny anything for potatoes. I'm going to convert this to potatoes for the next uh, growth cycle. Because we have so much wheat. Can honestly, yeah, we'll turn this one into medicinal herbs and we'll turn this one into potatoes as well. And that will take effect next year, obviously. Because we just, we just have so much wheat, we really don't need it. We really don't need it anymore. So that is looking fine. We can train up to 11 military units. And we still haven't built the uh, the market over here yet. But uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Potatoes here. I'm going to go ahead and put in 
Uh, do I need another warehouse? I think we might actually be okay with this. Can I... So logistics Center, I haven't really bothered to uh, mess with that quite yet. Uh, library, we definitely need a library over here. It gets us more science, which means research happens faster. Uh, we'll buy a tailor as well because this is our sheep ranch. And we already have one, but we can always use more. And we have plenty of wool, if I remember correctly. Uh, where is the wool? Well, I thought we had plenty. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we need to build another sheep ranch, and that's the, uh, that's the whole deal. At any rate, the library, if I can find a spot to put it, right here is probably smart, yeah. Or... Oh, ho oh. ho. Yeah, let's um let's put that library right there. I think that is a fantastic idea. Get that all built up. Cause that's gonna help all of these houses here. Probably should make another uh Oh, I could have easily put You know what? I'll tell you what. We are not gonna put the library there. I'm gonna put another tailor there because that fits perfectly next to it. And the library will just have to, uh, you know, go somewhere else. And in fact, we're going to uh, put where this warehouse is. We'll just demolish that. We'll put the library there because that fits very nicely. And the warehouse can just go somewhere else. Although I do wish it would let you build uh, roads in the red zone. Yeah, we can put it right there next to the uh, the coal mine. That should be pretty good. All right, we have another wild card. Uh, do I want to build another sheep ranch? Yeah, and we can just we can just put these right next to each other. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Should be uh should be fine. Actually, let's check our uh, fertility here. Oh, that's super unfertile. All right, good. <laughs> That is exactly what I wanted to see, so I'm not taking up good farmland. There we go. All right, so they got plenty of stuff to build. We don't really have to be worrying about anything. But I think... Did I click off? No, colonization is unlocked. So I got to figure out how to make a colony now. Uh, let's go ahead and research sand mine, because we want to get that going as soon as possible. Now... I think colonization is a card, so it's either going to show up here, which we haven't seen yet. We've got immigrants, or it might show up in this build. Ah, there it is. 15,000 coins. Okay. And then port colony for 20. So if I, okay, unknown provinces, yeah. So if we come up here, we have, all right, we've got gold here. Too far from 500 tiles. Okay. We can do iron ore. Uh, okay, over here we got tons of gold. It, again, it's too far, so we're going to have to be somewhat close. But if we can find one. Too far, 500 tiles. Um, inner city roads, so... Um, yeah, sand mine card and a glass smelter. I think we might have to port colony to get over here. Okay, yeah, so we've got gemstone mines here. We have these mountains that are going to be kind of annoying to deal with, but... I think, I think this should let us uh, connect both of these. So in terms of travel distance, you want one that's uh, kind of centrally located. So maybe we actually want to come in this way. So we can go, this province would be one more over for gemstones, two more over for iron ore. So that's probably actually better to go over here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and... Uh, See if we can get this guy going here. If I can find a spot for it. Uh, there we go. Yes. Okay, so we got grassland hunting or grassland herder. Ranch productivity or hunting lodge. Uh, let's go for ranch. Intercity logistics port to transfer goods between your port colony and your main city. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to want to go ahead and do first here is put in a whole bunch of... What is... What's in here? Can I not uh, Can I not see through the uh, trees here? 
Oh, that's just a... Why is that disease frequency three per year? Yikes. Okay, maybe I should have... Uh, maybe I should have thought about that. Okay, well, uh, let's just ignore that for now. We'll put some... Uh, uh, really? We'll put a house here because that's 100% appeal. Plus it's right next to everything. And then uh, find another good spot for something here. Probably would behoove us to do that. And I think uh, this way... Yeah, let's leave a slot there. Put one there. Hmm, so close. Dirt roads, yeah. And we'll need to, of course... Put in a uh, forester here. There we go. Let's see. Uh, we'll just uh, we'll just pop this right on the uh, edge of town here. Make sure they prioritize planting non-fruit trees. Cut any trees. That'll give them plenty to do. Upgrade town halls. Uh, see, ooh, plus twenty coins. And yeah, we have enough income now. Productivity is probably better. Yes, 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 yes. Uh huh. Okay. Level three. Level four. Okay, so now we're all the way upgraded here. So, make sure we have our houses done first. Okay, yeah, I want uh, food, coal, medicine, and. Yeah, oh, that seems pretty. Uh, I need to rename that. <laughs> Seems pretty uh pretty good so far. I don't really know too much about the whole colonization process. But getting us set up here is a good start. Ah, uh, see sand mines, glass smelters. There we go, looking good. We will uh we'll get there in due time. But we need to find a good spot here on a beach to have a sand mine. Oh, okay, this might actually work perfectly right here. Put one right there, glass smelter. Right across the shrubbery. Alright, sorry shrubbery. You're going to be gone, so I can put this glass smelter in a better spot. Put that there. Those should uh, hopefully start working nicely. And then of course we'll have glass, which will help us do a whole bunch of building upgrades. So that is looking quite nice. Uh, tech tree, what do we want to research now? We have school, coffee roaster, can't do yet. Theater, the glass works. Almost have enough uh, houses to research that. Glassware. Policy making, policy office. Okay, alright, that seems nice. Ooh, plus 70% science for surrounding houses. Huh. Okay, uh, well, let's do policy making first, and then... Uh, come over here to the upgrade tree because we really want to get we have all these to take care of too I want to get the uh, cannons and the musketeers so let's do military engineering too policy office find a good spot for this bad boy somewhere kind of a uh, a big suck of resources isn't it um, let's just put that right there alright so oh wow okay that's kind of expensive but we get 5% city attractiveness. Economic hegemony. Okay. 3% production bonus per level. Trade routes control. Wow. That's actually kind of powerful if you have a lot of cash. I like that idea. Okay. That's nice. I like that. Spine support. That's good. That's what that's supposed to be doing. We got some grapes. They're just about out of grapes. Have they... Are these level 7 houses? No, level 6 still. Yeah, I want to upgrade all these buildings at some point. How are we doing over here? We built any of these houses yet? No, this is astronomically slow. That's fine. Potatoes, they still haven't, uh, I guess, built the farm yet, which is... Fine, I guess. Da -da. Market's built, at least, so that's going to encompass most of these houses. That's a good thing. How are we doing on our uh, 
job priorities. We have oh, full employment. Good. We just got to get some more guys in here. Okay, and we are down here. Okay, upgrades. Uh, I'm going to do two upgrades in a row just so we can get musketeers, and then we can uh, maybe vassalize somebody. So we need, we have a, I thought that was a warehouse because it looked just like one. Oh, I don't have bricks here. I don't, okay, I got to build. I got to build. Mm, these, oh, these people are going to die in the summer or die in the winter. Charcoal burner. Uh, it's important. Well, I guess we can import too, which is fine. Um, where? Potter, and then we'll uh, we'll just buy a bunch of wild cards. Cause I need to build a clay pit somewhere near River or -er Oasis. All right, so that will fit here. That's probably a, a good thing to just go ahead and build. Potter right next door for maximum efficiency. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll just come over here like that. I'll let them uh, get at their thing here. Get some bricks going. Yeah, because that was a clay pit and a brick works. Um, I guess we could uh, probably need to have another clay pit and then... Next to that, we can put in a potter. Or maybe we put the potter over. Yeah, let's put the potter over here. There we go. Potter, potter. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I forgot I'd already built one. What, um, what was the uh, other... Oh, I thought I was building a, a brick maker. Well, I'm glad I caught that, or else I'd be very confused why I didn't have any bricks. Brickworks, that's what I wanted. Very similar looking uh, deals here. All right, I will sell that card back. Charcoal burners we actually don't need because we're importing coal, so I can sell that card back. I, I guess I was just always thinking of that. All right, where is... Are we importing stone? No, I need to have a... Stone quarry. Quarry, there we go. Oh yeah, let's go all the way all the way out here. Watch this not line up, that would be okay, no, perfect. That's fine. Can I put a house here? No, that is not very good uh not very good vibes, I guess. Yeah, you know, put that there. Storage full. Storage full. Need input. Well, I thought you wanted clay. You said, st okay, this says storage is full. This says it needs input. You two get together and just give them your stuff. We also don't have enough uh, people. So let's, um, let's send another 10 over here. Because we should have enough housing. Yeah, we do. I'll just go ahead and quick build the quarry. That's fine. Too far from storage. Yeah, okay. I can understand that. I guess we'll have to just build a storage yard for right now. We'll probably get rid of it at some point in the uh, near future. Anyway, these guys are going to get started uh, doing all that. We need to make sure... Oh, we actually can't upgrade any of this. So I hope none of these people die. That would be be quite sad for that to happen. Okay, did we upgrade the... I think we did and I just missed it. Oh, machine guns. Oh, there's no way. That cost five... Th really? The Enlightenment Age has machine guns? I'm pretty sure the machine gun wasn't really popularized until like World War I. At least in terms of widespread deployment and even then. I don't know, I'm not really a huge military history buff, but to have a machine gun in the Enlightenment Age? Wow, okay. Um, oh, 10,000 science? Okay, no, we're not going to be doing that right now. <laughs> That's more than we uh, we have the ability to do. Glassworks. Let's do that. We can make some nice glass. Okay, so these guys, uh, they're going to need some more houses. 
we got kind of uh, distracted by the prospect of having machine guns in the Enlightenment age. Oh man, what a what a mistake that would be. All right, let's uh, put a couple more houses down. There we go. Let's see what shows up here. Uh, we need to do. Don't need a winery, fishing lodge. Uh, probably never hurts to have one of those. Oh, did I just get rid of that? Yeah, I definitely did. All right, wild card it is. And then I'll just build a fishing lodge. Ideally, we want these guys to be more or less self-sufficient. Now, how far out can I go? Can I put this here? Oh, I sure can. All right. Um, excuse me? Oh, it doesn't like that there's trees there or something. All right, well, in that case, right there will have to work, I suppose. People dying of old age, that's, uh, I guess that's just the way it goes. Da -da. So I wish I had stone to upgrade all this stuff. Because we don't even have bricks yet because uh, we haven't built the brickworks. I don't want a quick build it. That seems kind of uh, unnecessary at any rate. Uh, let's go back over here and, uh, as promised, let's train up some units. I have my four archers, which I think we're just going to use sacrificially until they die, and then build some of these bad boys. Let's go ahead and build some cannons. I've got 46,000 coins, 47 almost, so I uh, could just put up four of those guys. Of course, it counts as two units, so four of these guys is actually eight, which means I now have 12 out of 11 slots. Yeah, 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 not enough slots. We just have to have more dudes. Glassworks card. Yeah, let's buy that. And then is there... Oh, that's a big thing. Okay. Um, I can't put that there either, but I can... Yeah, I can put this here. Just kind of uh, condense everything. One line. Of course, they haven't built any of this yet. Um, what about another? Probably should just uh, have another sand mine right next door. Can I? No, there. Oh, well, that was where the other one was anyway. Uh, okay, I can. I can have this come all the way up here, or I can go. Oh, we can leave space in the middle for a warehouse. Okay, that seems smart. If a warehouse fits, which it does not, because. Uh, I guess it's real clown hours over here, so we'll have to settle for a storage yard. Maybe. Immigrants, come on in. We got plenty of room. Uh, we need tools again. That's what. That's why I need this iron, because we, we can only make so many stone tools, I swear. All right. So let's... Um, okay. Tools. We'll just go ahead and buy a hundred of each, and then I wish I could sort by price for stuff I can sell. I'm already automatically selling vodka. Um, let's just sell a bunch of stone. It's still a, a net loss, but we need those tools. All right, potatoes, we're turning into vodka. That's uh, normal. Cocoa. I have cocoa, I think, because I imported that, so I don't want to sell that. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's just do one of these bad boys right here. All right. We still haven't built all these houses for real. Da -da 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 okay, these guys are going that way, upgrade to the middle age thing. And then I can do, as soon as I get glass, I can get these fancy tile roofs here. All right, upgrade level. Roof shift, wide shaft. There we go. That's looking good. And as soon as I get glass, which I think is uh, hopefully not going to take too long. We just need somebody to come by here and start building stuff. We don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough dudes. I don't think. How are we doing on? Okay, we have twelve units. So I have archers and cannons. I'm going to go ahead and sell one archer. And I'm going to train up a uh, musketeer. Yeah. One of those guys. And then we're going to try. We're not going to try to raise this guy yet. We're going to try to vassalize 
these guys because we haven't done that yet. And everybody we've vassalized is giving us some uh, some nice tributes. So our income is actually 916 per per round here. 1,005. That's looking good. And this guy's almost done. So as soon as that's taken care of, we'll go ahead and uh, come on over here. Knock, knock, hello. It's time to vassalize. Hope you're ready. How are you doing today? Angry farmers with pitchforks. With us with four cannons. <laughs> All these archers and then a guy with a gun. Yeah, that's, that's totally fair. But I think it would be a mistake to try to raise until we have a substantially higher amount of uh, military force, which uh, we'll we'll get at some point. Anyway, it should not be uh, should not be too much longer for these guys to uh, be totally defeated. Let's take a look at our tech tree upgrades. Wise, we've got uh, irrigation pumps, huh? Ooh, card inventory, Ch chocolate snub. Castles. I think I'd rather have the machine gun instead of a castle. We're already halfway there. So let's just... Uh, okay, we conquered these guys. That's uh, that's good. We're getting plus 80 tribute. Look at our income. 1601. Love to see it. So now we have... Uh, I, I just... I want these guys' territories so bad. I don't have anybody else really close enough to... Uh, oh... Oh, I actually could. I don't have a... Uh, I'd have to own these uh, things, but... If I can, uh, you know... Just start doing all this to all these guys, man, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have just heaps of cash. That sounds uh, pretty compelling. Once we get machine guns, then you know, I think it's game over for, <laughs> for most of these folks in the... Uh, Enlightenment Age getting Gatling gunned down. Lots of people dying of old age. They should stop that. Alright, well anyway, this will be uh, over pretty much any time now. Yep, there we go. Now we got tribute for that. Don't have a trade route for him yet. But we will. Okay. You know the drill, boys and girls. Do I have to do this in any sort of order? No? No, it just automatically does that. All right, so we'll uh, we'll just, you know, let them do their thing. Zoom all over the map because I can't use controls correctly. Okay, we got this. These guys are doing fine. Not really, uh, not really worried about any of the rest of this. Are we making potatoes yet? Yes. Okay. How is our potato yield, actually? 524. Good. I was going to build another uh, vodka distillery up here. All right, so we got that one. That's looking fine here. Uh, granary should be... No, I already have one of those. I don't need another one. Uh, 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 yeah, let's get another one of those. Come on over here. Yeah, that's that's fine like that. We'll put these two next to each other and uh, let them do their thing. All right, so we've uh, we're getting tribute from these guys. I think their hit points reset every uh, every time. Yeah, that's an, an incredible. That the hit points just reset. I love that. That is completely overpowered. So we're just going to start getting all sorts of vassalization going on here. How's our colony looking? Okay, we're not super happy over here. We could use some more uh, some more luxuries. We do have stone though, so we can uh, storage full, storage full. We should be... Uh, Probably exporting all this stuff. We need to have these roads connect. Yeah, okay, storage full. We need warehouses, but we don't have... Yep, conquered those guys. I'll just quick build the brickworks. Who cares? 
storage yards are full, so now we have to uh, we have to build a warehouse to house the stuff with which we can build a warehouse. I swear I'm not making this up. Okay, We've got three of those guys. We'll let them uh, figure themselves out because they can make uh, they can make bricks. How are we doing on our uh, trees? Looking okay. I guess we can go ahead and uh, receive some more immigrants. We have fish. Yeah, we got plenty of fish. Hope these guys like fish. Send another 10 adults over here. We need more houses. Because these haven't, uh, haven't upgraded yet. Yeah, we'll just stick that there. Quick build the house. And then we should have... Yeah, we got room over here. All right, uh, who else? We haven't lost any military units yet, which is honestly pretty impressive. Tribute, tribute, tribute. Ooh, they got hemp. I'm sorry, cannabis in this game. You you guys know the drill at this point. Just uh, just do your thing. Oh, they've got a they got a port. Oh, but I can't uh, I can't do anything with them until I. Uh, kill all their dudes. I was about to say, I should have established a trading route because they have a, uh, they have a port. So I guess we can just kind of watch these guys, uh, get absolutely steamrolled by super advanced technology they don't have. Alright, this is all... Wait, I had a decrease in science production? That can't be right. Well, we'll get that fixed. We'll try to do something here. Excess cards up here? Nope. We're actually doing pretty well. This should be this should be over pretty quick. One more round and farmers will all be gone. There we go. Conquered him. Trade route. Yep, there we go. Looking good. I don't think any of the rest of these have a oh, they do. Trade route. Looking good. Yeah, we are absolutely powering through here. We got tribute coming in from all over the place. I don't think there's anybody else on this island except up here. Well, trade route I don't have yet, but you know the drill. Go do your thing. We'll leave them alone. How are we looking over here? He's okay. He's got archers. He's actually got military, so we might not want to. Uh... So he doesn't. He doesn't have a port. Seriously. Uh, we already have. I already have a trader out there. I think we already have one here too, right? Yeah. Yes, please join my city so I can get more military card points. All right. How many units can I train here? Productivity. Sustainability seems smart. Okay, train units. I still only have... Oh, now I have 11 slots because our population keeps decreasing because people keep dying. Okay, I conquered those guys. It kind of feels like the game's like too easy now. But I digress. We have to uh we have to do the best we can, which I guess is uh I'm on the wrong side of the map, <laughs> which I guess is probably fine. All right. How are we doing? Yes, thank you. I will not attack you currently. Okay, we are right here. We have 17. We really need we really need to have farms, but there's no, uh, there's really nowhere to farm except this province right here, which I can go ahead and get. Go ahead and get the gemstone mine. Yes. We'll just go ahead and, uh, take a look at our fertility overlay here. Yeah, this is kind of, uh, kind of trash for farming this entire thing. But, hey, now we have iron. Yes. And, yes, buy the card. Let's, um, uh, negotiate. Oh, did my archers finally die, or are they just didn't know? Oh, oh, I see how it is. Okay. Gemstone mines. Got a gemstone in the gemstone. That didn't make any sense. Okay, let's put... Uh, 
Yes, I know the house is too far. Life is so hard. You got to walk to work. Um, I want... I was going to put two down, but I guess we can put... Oh, this is rancid appeal here. Um, okay, this isn't bad. This isn't bad up here. Put in some... Uh, why is... Okay, so I still have the... I want this overlay on it. There we go. Can I fit a third house? I sure can. All right. So that's going to help. I will just quick build these houses because we have tons of money. Quick build the gemstone mine because we have, again, tons of money. Storage, too far. What if I told you we have a thing called a warehouse? That could, in fact, be an amazing, amazing invention. All right, um, we need to harvest these stones. Hello, thank you. Just harvest all that. We'll come back and uh, fix that. But for now, we can put in some storage right across. That is too much for quick build. All right, how are we looking for military? Turn off the uh, overlays here. Still only 12 slots, huh? All right, um, who else? More importantly, we have uh, upgrades we can get to. I have machine guns. I should be building those. But these guys have to die first. Or I could sell them, you know. That's always an option. Uh, let's move these steel cards up there. And all of these and then move those down. I'm just going to go ahead and sell my archers because uh, we have machine guns. <laughs> so that should... uh. Oh, that's three. Wow, okay. But it's got an attack of 246. This guy's having an attack of... Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll just build one of those. You know, it's uh, machine guns. Probably fine. It's not going to hurt you. That bad. Okay, how much... I still don't have any glass. Have they even built this stuff yet? Okay, uh-uh. We, we're just going to quick build. Because <laughs> we're, we're making so much, so much money. I don't know why they haven't gotten here yet, because they have all the resources. I guess the builders are just, uh, oh, I only have, okay, no, we can have more than, uh, I don't need 28 people being laborers. There we go. Let's actually, let's go up to 16 builders. I think we can sustain that. Okay, now we're kind of getting somewhere. We have our library working here. We got these going. That's looking good. I want to upgrade all this stuff, but I can't yet. We also can build more forts. They'll get us more income, but that does cost money. Okay, iron mine. We need to come down here. And then I think... Okay, mine back must face mountain. Alright, that's going to be about the best spot for that. Zoom in, thank you. House too far, yes. You're a complainer, just like your friends. Okay, um... You know what? No, we, we're not cavemen. We have technology. We can put in stone roads, because that's faster. There we go. We'll get, uh... We'll get something going here. Alright, um... Yeah. I'm all the way across here. Just want this entire map to be able to be connected end to end with stone roads. And I'm sure the industrial area is going to have pavement or something that we uh, should probably be doing instead. But we're not there yet. All right, so that's going to give them something to do there. We're going to have to have some houses over here. Surprisingly, uh, surprisingly appealing. I guess we'll put a house there. That's probably a decent spot right there. Put in some warehouses. Can I get uh, right here? No. Well, that's fine. Just turn on the appeal. Make sure I don't put a warehouse where a great spot for an actual house would be. That's probably about as good of a thing as we're going to get. Quick build the mine. 
quick build a couple houses. And then we will start getting some iron, which we should uh, build another intercity logistics port over here and start importing the iron. Unless uh, that's not something I have to, uh, have to be building. All right. Intercity logistics port. Can I place this anywhere on this map without it being a colossal disaster? Uh, I don't even have access to a path over here. Huh. All right, well, this is going to be annoying. I, I seriously can't build this anywhere? Am I just going to have to find a different spot to do this? Like, there's, there's no way I can't... Really? Okay. Oh, they're so close. Okay, that works. That's kind of a... Kind of a load of barnacles here. Alright. So if I do that, then I should have intercity logistics port we can put next to it. Where is my... I don't see. I don't see an iron. Oh, iron smelter. There we go. I'll just put this right next to it. Why not? There's literally no reason not to. Because that'll be hauled right there. We'll put in a warehouse right there. Looking good. Okay, what's our quick build cost looking like for this? Yeah, I am uh, willing to do that. All right, um, town target. I don't want it to be delivered. Okay, now hold on. If I click on this. Oh, to take from target town. Food, coal, medicine, stone tools. That's is probably important. But we're not currently taking food. So what if we instead... Okay, now hold up. This one says take from target town. So this one should... Uh, oh, okay, I just, I'm just dumb. All right, we want to take gemstones. We want to take iron ore. That's what we want to do. All right, so we'll take those four. That shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be complicated. All right, where's my? There we go. Got nobody working over there because I don't think we have enough. Uh, we don't have enough dudes. All right, so let's take another nine adults. We're waiting on bricks because, of course, we are. They've got clay, they've got coal. We're mining stone, we're mining gemstones. We just don't have enough bodies. Uh, I got so many cards. I should probably use those cards for something now. All right, um, what else? What else can I be putting here? All right, uh, oh, what's got a higher, uh, Usage thing. I think um, sustainability, 30% less input. Some passion for brick working. Okay, we can quick build that. That's fine. Da -da, da -da. Okay, I can't do any of those. All right, the quarry should probably have. Yeah, let's get. Uh, Job, happiness, and productivity, and then we'll give those guys the same. Warehouse doesn't really matter. Go ahead and claim this province. We'll build a... Uh... Oh, we can just make this a stone road. That's probably fine. And then we have an intercity road. Just pop right there, which means we can then connect a trade route. Looking good. Love to see that. Okay. 
Da -da, da -da. All right, and we are lacking bricks. So really, we just have a, a massive need for more stuff here. We need more food, which is kind of a problem because we don't have a don't have a lot of ability to grow stuff, but we do have these fruit trees. So if we can find a uh, card for... I could have just bought a wild card. I guess that's just what we'll do. I already had one, didn't I? Uh, fruit gatherer. I can't fit that there, can I? No? Okay. Yeah, we'll just... Oh, I built it on top of a fruit tree. That's uh, smart. da 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 Okay, and then I think we're going to be able to do a uh, hunter as well. I can find hunting lodge. There we go. Because we do have wild animals, and these uh, burrows will actually still spawn wild animals. So if we can keep those from being destroyed, we actually stand a pretty decent chance of you know, having food. It's always important. I'll put that guy right there. Quick build it, because why not? Oh, I don't have enough stones. Not enough stones. So we we really just need more people here. But now that we have infrastructure for food, we can bring in some more immigrants. Let's bring in another 10. Don't need to shock them too bad. But we do need more people in here. And if I don't think any of these have access to coal. Oh, no, this does. Okay. So we're going to need a coal mine. Yes, I know I am massively overbuilding, but it'll end up being fine. Coal mine. Okay, you're unhappy. Why? All right, we'll just put that there. Quick build because I have tons of money. All right, that is working out just fine. So eventually, when we have more people here, we'll be in uh, a little bit better shape. Where is our fishing lodge? Yeah, improved boat. We'll just keep on upgrading so they can get more fish. I mean, they'll survive off the fish. They've got other things they can uh, be trading with these guys for. Can't quite get to these guys yet because we haven't built a, uh, haven't claimed provinces rather. But now, if we come up here, I guess we could probably. I mean, it's going to take them 800 years to build all these stone roads anyway, so might as well just go ahead and go hog wild with them. Ah, oh, there's. I'm going to have to come all the way up here, aren't I? Yeah, we'll come. over here like this buy this because we can because why not there we go scroll in please thank you there we go and then intercity roads now that's connected we'll connect the trade route there we go let's just a uh slow and steady process here we should be able to still support more people so we'll just keep on bringing more immigrants in i'm just gonna go ahead and bring in another uh, 18 fill up some of these jobs we have plenty of space of houses let's get these things rocking and rolling here and our food situation should vastly improve if i can get uh some of these uh, mushroom farms. There we go. Buy a mushroom farm. Find a good spot for it. Not that it's really going to be a huge, uh, huge problem either way. I guess we could put. Uh, if it's not going to be fertile land, we can just. Oh yeah, we can we can build mushroom farms on on fertile land. That's not going to be a problem. Put that there. Quick build because we have the cash. Money solves all of your problems in games. Most of them. Mushroom farms looking good. Frugality doesn't really matter, but we can have some passion about mushrooms. That sounds uh, sounds like a plan there. 
Uh, market would be a smarket. Smart market. Smarket. I'll be here all week. Uh, let's uh, let's put this right here. Quick build, get that thing all done. Good to go. Just for the uh, benefit of... No, that was one of those I shouldn't have built on. That's fine. Just have these houses all ready to go. There's a couple more things we should probably uh, go ahead and set up here. Stone tools uh, shop would be smart. Just because we have our quarry here, so we'll go ahead and just uh, pop that right next door. Da -da. All right, passion, job happiness, and productivity sounds good. Get something here. All right, so this is all looking fine and dandy. We have a musketeer, we have four cannons, and one machine gun. So uh, what say you? We pay a visit to our old friends, Bell Attack. And uh, use some uh, fun stuff, shall we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Although they are, uh, they're putting up a pretty good fight. How many? Can I make more, uh, more military units yet? No, I absolutely cannot. That's fine. They're kind of they're kind of kicking butt over here. Once this uh, musketeer goes down, though, it's not going to be good. I probably should have had two. I just wanted to use the machine gun so bad. Bert. Well, we might actually uh might actually make it through these guys. As long as this guy can survive another couple of rounds, we should be okay. Yeah. Yeah, he'll hold out. He'll be fine. So this will be the first time we've ever raised an opponent. Just don't die. Need more tools. I know, I know. We're working on it. I'm going to use this land to do more stuff. All right, come on. Bang. 17,000 coins. Okay, so now, hey, look, I can claim a province. Cool, all right, that's my land now. Thank you very much. Oh, we have so much wood. All right, um, Biffa. Oh, no, not Biffa. Who am I going to watch play City Skylines now? F in the chat for Biffa dying of old age. All right, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and pause real quick. Because somehow we're out of tools, despite having all of this. Are we importing iron ore? I guess I could just take a look over here at our raw materials. We have five iron tools, 577 iron bars. So that tells me the uh, blacksmith is just uh, not getting the stuff effectively. Okay, fruit gatherer right here is really not doing anything. So let's uh let's get rid of the fruit gatherer. Don't need it. Okay, sell that. We need to find Oh, uh, we don't have enough people. Because we've been sending them all out to the uh the colony here. So we've got the uh one of these one of these guys, hauling services. That's what we need. Where's the hauling? I don't remember where any of this stuff is. Furniture workshop, furniture workshop. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not. Okay. Need input of what? Flour? Wheat flour. Need input of iron ore. But this doesn't say it needs... Uh, okay, we'll upgrade. Oh, we had glass. Okay, good. Upgrade. Okay, frugality. Do I have another card? No, I just have steel. But I can buy a card. Ooh, resource outpost. Okay. Oh, wow. I wasn't even looking at any of these. 
Citizens cannot immigrate out of town without permission. That's evil. Slave labor? Oh my god. All right, well, we're not going to be doing any of that. Oh, happy bread day. <laughs> okay. Private military. Get careful with that one. Uh, okay. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Excuse me? Plus 10 military. Okay, uh-uh. Okay, we're buying that. We're definitely buying that card. Okay. I wanted productivity passion. Yes. And I'm going to put that in the blacksmith that I can't ever find. There we go. Passion. There we go. Right there. This needs paper that we can't make yet. Meanwhile, standing army. Yes, please. Please. Oh, yes. I am ready. Let's go. Let's make a bunch of machine guns. I'll make another musketeer just for a meat shield. Okay, well that's... Ex oh my god, I forgot about the tech tree. We've been so focused on all this other stuff. Alright, um... Irrigation pump, castle, card inventory, uh... Yeah, we'll just research that. Tax adjustment? Yeah, alright. Okay, meanwhile in the tech tree, I don't have enough level 4 houses. I have a school... Uh, global footprint, what's that? Porn okay, that's one of the buildings you can build in the other, uh, the other guys here. A scholar's office, work schedule, work hours, wow, okay. Goldsmithing, museums, zoos, chocolatiers. Yeah, let's just get that, get that, global footprint, get that blocked up. So we need schools, uh, scholar's office, paper, I need to make paper. How in the world do I make paper? Like, I know in practice, in real life, how to make paper. I just don't, uh... I just am not sure uh, how in this game. School card, scholar's office card, paper, paper maker. There we go. That's what I wanted. School. We gotta find... We gotta find somewhere to build this. Alright, that's gonna be... Nice to have that done. Scholar's office, craft a card from paper, paper maker. Let's check this out. All right, doc must, what? I have to have a doc for a paper maker? Really? Uh, all right. That's doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, I know you need water to make paper from wood pulp, but how? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do some, uh, some hardcore thinking to get some, uh, with this done. I guess I could just put this uh, over here. No, it can't possibly be this hard in a spot to make a, uh, make a paper maker. Okay, that's not gonna work. Um, what about? Ah, we have all of this land up here from our. Uh, there we go. If I put this here, okay. Four and quarter, yes. I will place one of those immediately. Dirt road. Let's have this. Can I come up through here? Yes, I sure can. There we go. Paper maker. Storage too far. Yes, I know. Life is so hard. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, do that. It'll take them a little bit of time, or we could just pay for it to get finished. All right, so that's a better process. Say no more. Looks good. Making paper and then a scholar's office crafts cards from paper. Although uh, I'm not really interested in that right now, but four and a quarter. Yes, please. Let's go over here. Our friends in Ruin. Ruin, whatever. Oh, it's huge. All right, yeah, don't mind if I just take a huge amount of your space here to build a foreign quarter for uh, all of my dudes. Oh, look at this. That is cool. Foreign port. Oh, man. Okay, we are cooking now. We are cooking with gas. Foreign port right th Oh, look at this. We got income. We got income. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, don't mind me just spending all my money on four and quarter upgrades. Okay, yeah, we're uh, we're doing fantastic here. Got musketeers, I got machine guns, I got cannons. Now, what's my uh, what's my military? Twenty one out of twenty two. Do I build another machine gun or another cannon, or do I go to the upgrades tree? No, okay, I can't upgrade my uh, military stuff anymore. Tech tree, a uh, theater, okay. That could be useful. Banks. Oh, okay. That's that's useful. I'm gonna have to have eighty level six houses for the industrial age. Okay. Uh, I don't have gold mines yet, so I'm not gonna worry about that. We've researched all of these, right? Okay. Don't have enough for a coffee roaster, but I can make a theater, so we'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and make. Another, uh, yeah, another machine gun. Why not? And then when we have all of that stuff, why don't we try to raise these guys? Because they've got a gemstone deposit. As soon as we have our fourth machine gun, and we are, we are starting to run out of time for today's video, so this might be the last thing we do. We did get a lot done, though, so let's not feel too bad about it. How are we doing on, uh, Blacksmithing to make iron tools. Yeah, it's it's going. Okay. All right. We have everything we need. Machine guns and musketeers. I'm gonna hold. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't on uh, on assign them. Okay. I was about to say. Oh, look at them go. This is majestic. So pretty much every single turn, we're gonna cut down two of their oh, or three, two or three of their guys here. Very good. Upgrade tree, castle, irrigation pump. We, we probably should just be getting all of these. We'll do ranching technologies. Theater card, don't mind if I do. We'll do some of that in a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. More tools, I know. We're going to get there. That's why we're expanding our territory. So we can have the resources with which to uh, produce more goods. People love me. Well, not the people I'm currently firing on with machine guns. They don't love me, but I bet my citizens do. Yeah, we are just absolutely uh, just tearing through them like paper. Oh, and now we have all these people with normal names. Richard, Daniel, Bobby, Angelina, and we're Biffas. We had Elvis a while ago. Okay, so... We raised their city, looking good, and now we can buy their province. We can buy all of these provinces. Yes, yes we can. Oh, look at this, this is beautiful. We have iron here. Folks, it just does not get any better than that. And I think, oh. Oh, it's not going to let me get out of it. Okay, um... Colony, and then this one will be the town. There we go. So now we have access to uh, gemstone mines. We've got these guys. Now, I know I said we were done, but... What if... Actually, they've got income. They can stay, they can stay for now. We're getting some, some nice income from them. Let's connect everything up with the road here. There we go. Now that's all hooked up. We're going to make good use of all this space in the next episode. But look at our empire here. Look at this. We've expanded so much in this episode. We've got a couple of uh, towns raised. We've got a bunch. We have a bunch of military strength here. And our colony is not looking too bad either. Although we can definitely use some more uh, some more warm bodies here. We just need to have some uh, some more people come in here. Let's bring some uh, some kids and adults in. Yeah, our, our main problem now is we don't have enough tools. But man, look at all this. We're having a good time. 
we'll we'll address all this uh, Monday next episode, and we'll take care of all the rest of that stuff then. But yeah, very very happy with all this. Stuff is in good shape. We have incredible strength. Way way more than these guys might try to uh, might try to vassalize these guys next one. I think they okay. Well, these guys have pretty equal uh, military, and they've got guns now. So if we're gonna do something, we should probably do it soon before they get too much more powerful. But they've got tulips, and that's a nice luxury to have. At any rate, we're doing excellently, fantastic shape. Can't really uh, can't really ask for too much more at this exact moment. So we'll see what happens next time. Uh, we'll do a couple more improvements. We've got plenty more we can be doing and plenty more we can be optimizing. Obviously, this uh, colony down here is in dire need of some more tools, which we will uh, probably have to fix by putting a ton more quarries in here. But yeah, we'll find that out on Monday. Thanks for watching these uh, longer videos. I did try to get this one down a little bit. It's only going to be an hour 15 or so. It's 7 hour 45, so yeah. You know, we uh we try to listen to people who don't want huge long videos, but I digress. We'll have a good time then. As always, if you have any uh, comments, questions, concerns, want to uh, just chat in the comments, drop me a comment. I read every single one. I can't always respond, but I do read them all, and I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to uh, just uh, enjoy talking about the game and say hi. So again... Please feel free to leave a comment below. Check out the uh, Timberborn videos if you haven't been watching those. That's a really fun game. Although I think most of you who watch these are coming over from the Timberborn videos. But if you haven't, it's a whole lot of fun. Really, really good progress in that one. We'll have another two episodes of that this weekend. I am still trying to do live streams at some point. I just uh, don't really have a whole lot of time during quote-unquote normal people waking hours. So that's going to be kind of a passion book. That's going to be kind of a... Uh, work in progress long term to try to figure out some sort of time for that but at any rate that's all the time we got for this video thanks again so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day whatever you're doing stay safe have fun and we will see you in the next one Bye bye